In this video, I will show you step by step how to buy any cryptocurrency on your Coinbase wallet. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is to connect your Coinbase account to the Coinbase wallet. Now if you don't have a Coinbase account already, make sure to go over to the link in the description and sign up your own Coinbase account for completely free. Of course you can also use any other exchange as long as you are able to deposit crypto onto your Coinbase wallet. Now to connect your Coinbase account to the Coinbase wallet, you need to click on settings in the bottom right and then scroll down over to connections. Now you want to click on connect to Coinbase and you can then click on connect my account and you will then see buy or transfer from Coinbase. So you just want to click on connect my Coinbase account and you will then be sent over to the Coinbase application on your phone. Now you will most likely need to wait a couple of seconds for the pop up to come up and you will then see that your Coinbase wallet will have access to your account information, send crypto from your account and buy crypto. And it will also get other permissions. However, you just want to click on authorize. You'll then see that your account, so your Coinbase wallet, has been connected to your Coinbase account. You can then just click on later and then you want to go over to your wallet. Then you want to click on send and click on from my Coinbase account. You'll then see all the cryptocurrencies you can transfer from your Coinbase account to your Coinbase wallet. For me, this is my Bitcoin holdings and you can then just click on max or fill in an amount manually. You can then click on continue and you'll then see the transfer confirmation. So now, once you've double checked all the information, just click on confirm. And if you're transferring crypto from any other exchange, make sure to click on receive and then fill in your Bitcoin address or any other cryptocurrency address over on the exchange you're withdrawing from. Also make sure to select the same cryptocurrency and please double check if the network you're using supports the cryptocurrency as well. Now once you've got your funds on the Coinbase wallet, you want to click on the middle icon in the bottom of your screen which is the four squares. You can then go over to the link and then you want to search for uniswap.org. Then just click on enter and you'll then be sent over to the Uniswap protocol website. Now you want to click on launch app and then your wallet will be automatically connected. And once your wallet is connected and then you want to go over to swap and select the currency that is selected as the from, which for me is Ethereum and that's completely fine for this example. Now you want to fill in the amount you would like to buy and you will also see the price it's worth in dollars below the price it's worth in the cryptocurrency. So 0.05 Ethereum is worth $192. And then you want to click on select a token and search for the token you would like to buy. Now this can basically be any coin available on Uniswap. And if the currency is not available already, you want to click on import. For example, the Shiba Unicoin isn't available, so you want to click on import. And you'll then also see that this token doesn't appear on the active token list. Make sure this token is the token that you want to trade. So you're always able to double check the information of the coin when you go over to CoinMarketCap and search for the cryptocurrency. As you guys can see, right now I'm over on my CoinMarketCap. And then you want to go over to the search bar and search for the same cryptocurrency you want to buy on your Coinbase wallet. Now I'm going to click on Shiba Uni. And when you scroll down a little bit, you will be able to copy the wallet address. It's under contracts and you'll then see the Ethereum address which in this case ends on 4CE and when I go over to my Coinbase wallet, you will also see that the address I will import ends with 4CE. So you can then just click on import and by the way, you really need to double check if it's the right currency because a lot of people make fake cryptocurrencies. It's really not that hard to make it and you can give it any name and any logo. So that's why you want to go over to CoinMarketCap and always double check the wallet's address. Now for me it will say insufficient Ethereum balance because I don't hold any Ethereum, but if you do hold the cryptocurrency, you can just click on swap. Also be sure to calculate the fees. For example, if you only have 0.05 Ethereum in your wallet, you don't want to send 0.05 Ethereum or you don't want to swap that. You want to make 4.5 for example, because the fees on the Ethereum chain are pretty high and the fees are on top of the amount you're going to swap, so it's not excluded from the amount, it will be added to the total you have to pay. So that's why in most of the cases you should not select all. And if you've still got any questions left at all, make sure to ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.